How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of my house that I bought with my missus here. And um, This is the Dunham by Countryside Properties. We're going to give you a quick walkthrough of the house, tell you about the layout and all that. Now I'm going to be doing the camera work because my missus ain't the best photographer in the world while she just gives you a talk through the house and all that. So stay tuned. <laughs> and that's all across the estate um, just quite nice nice little greenery it just makes it look quite nice and tidy um, yeah, let's take you to the garage our garage is a single single detached garage no have I said that right what is it yeah it is a single detached <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not attached to the house whatsoever, which is quite good. Handy. This is the garage, quite a big size. Could fit. You've definitely fit my car in here, I'm not sure about yours, but it's still, you probably could fit, fit it in, but with nothing else in there. It's quite big, you've got also a light switch here. Quite nice. Um, and also, the actual roof fit is quite big as well. Potentially, if you ever wanted to, you could get that boarded up and use it as storage. It's also got plugs at the back. Um, for anything that you wanted to use it for. Come out of the garage when you go first. Watch. Here we have the gas and electricity meters. We also have this which is an electric charging point. So if you ever get an electric car, you can charge it ready to go there for you. I'll take you into the garden. The garage also has a door there, over there in the corner. This bit is sort of quite easy for our bins to come through here, out onto the front. And then we've also got a shed, which we didn't know we were getting, but it was quite nice, nice little surprise. It's actually quite a big shed, as you can see. Um, then we've got the garden here, really nice, really big. So we've got a north facing house, so sun kind of hits towards the back there but yeah. quite nice eventually possibly loads of, loads of room to view ideas we've potentially got an idea of putting a patio kind of towards this end of the garden but i've not really decided yet yeah, yeah. go back around to the front yeah. and uh we'll have a look at the uh entrance Garage door. If you ever wanted to just easily need to get access to it from the house, which is quite good. Well, ready? Go ready for to it. enter the house. Let's go. So this is the entrance here. As you can see, it's the hallway itself is quite small. However, if you have the door open there, it goes straight through. You can see all the way through to the kitchen, and it's quite nice and airy which is quite nice, it makes the hallway look a lot nicer. So I'll just take you in. We've got here entrance matting on the floor. So whenever you come in, you can wipe your feet, like so. <laughs> <laughs> take your shoes off. So it's quite, it is quite nice. Um, it's a good day to do this. So the sun's quite nice to shining through. Downstairs bathroom. So again, quite nice, quite, quite big actually. Um, so you've got your toilet and your sink there. And you also get a mirror included along with those two tiles there. And you've also got a radiator in here as well. And onto the living room. So quite nice and big. And enough to fit, it's actually a perfect size to fit a corner sofa, which is what we've gone for. So we've utilized all the space. 
and it's also the actual it doesn't the actual house doesn't come with a fireplace however we probably preferred that just because we can now put a tv on there what Perfect. size tv is that 65 inch there you go yeah it looks quite good uh 65 inch and it doesn't look too big and doesn't look too small so it's just right I yeah think. and it's perfect for when you actually sat on the sofa as well it's perfect so everyone can see it, even people in that corner um in the corner bit and we've also got this bay window which i really like um we haven't really quite decided what we want to do with it yet potentially we can put a bench there or i think we see we saw in the show home had a love seat so potentially we could do that but we're not quite sure yet but it's quite nice we've got all the windows open there's a lot of good airflow as well coming from outside and generally you can see all the shrubs this plant's starting to grow quite high so eventually that we'll probably have to trim that somehow and then yeah so what comes standard with it is the you do get the countertop not this countertop though um, you get fridge freezer standard, you get a five ring hob standard, oven standard, um, that's it isn't it, standard? Oh, you get the extractor. The extractor standard. The um, chrome switch plates. Cool. But that's downstairs, that's the whole of the downstairs, you get chrome switch plates. Um, that, is, that is it then, after that, that's standard. Yeah, what? show them the extra bits that we got though. So we got the dishwasher, so we managed to go with them and we got the dishwasher for free and thrown in. And we also got the washing machine. So this is actually a utility, which is quite nice, quite hidden away. You wouldn't even know it's there. And um, got the washing machine for free as well, included in the price of the house. This was the actual worktop we should have got with the house. However, we negotiated with them and we actually got the granite quartz worktop here, which is this one. Um, so we're quite happy with that decision. Flooring wise, we didn't get uh, the standard flooring because they didn't do tiles. So we decided to use their flooring. Um, you do get, I think most of the houses do offer flooring as standard, but they're normally LVT or carpet. So, uh, because we didn't want either of them, uh, we, we decided against the flooring. Uh, we saw this actual dining table in one of the show homes. Not this actual one, but a corner dining table. So we quite like that and it fits quite nicely. And you've also got quite a bit of room on the right hand side as well. So it's quite nice and snug and neat and hidden away. Fridge is here. Fridge is here along with the freezer. Quite long. There is a bit of space here where it's just a bit of cupboard, so it kind of stops about there. Yeah, open it up. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see there that bit. Um, you actually do have quite a lot of cupboard space. Um, so we've got all these covers, we've also got all of them there. Um, and we've got the little bookshelf, which is quite nice. You've also got a cover here, a cover here. And obviously those two cupboards as well, up top. Um, the skylights here, that's actually quite a really nice feature that we really liked about this house. And um, to be honest, all countryside houses have skylights. Um, and it just makes the, it makes the kitchen seem a lot more brighter and a lot more area and a lot more bigger as well. Right, I'm going to take you upstairs and show you the first floor. So it's a four bedroom house, three of the bedrooms and one bathroom there. So I'll take you to the smallest bedroom first. Um, it is big enough for a single bed if you needed to. We've decided to use this as a study. I don't know if you get much wardrobe space in it, but it would you could definitely get a bed in it. You could definitely use it as a bedroom if you needed to. And so you can see obviously by the length of the desk, you can get a bit of an idea of how big it actually is. This desk is 1.8 meters wide um, from IKEA, so this that's the kind of desk width you'd fit in this comfortably. It fits in perfectly, so. And you got a nice little view over the garden there. And 
And this is the second smallest room. So the, these, this room and the room to the right, they're very, very similar size. This one's just a slightly smaller. I'm just using it as storage at the moment and a little bit of a laundry room. Um, but there's nothing much in here. But again, you've got quite a nice view. You can see over the, over the garden. And uh, this is the other small room. Again, we're using it as storage, but still quite a nice, good size. You could definitely fit a double bed in here. Um, both the rooms, this one and the one to the left, you could fit a double bed in. You can see all across the street here as well, which is still quite nice. What's quite good about the road here as well, which I forgot to mention, is it is actually quite a wide road. We've been to quite a few estates and um, the roads are actually really narrow, and especially with cars parked on on the pavement, it makes it really difficult to drive through. But there's never really, we've never really had any issues here. And this is the first floor bathroom. So we've got both a shower and bathtub here which was included as standard this was included as standard um, the mirror was also included as standard and this was also included it's a little vanity vanity drawer which is quite nice to have as well so you don't need to worry about getting drawers from underneath your sink and it's quite nice and tidy it's like a floating floating drawer the mirror was included as well, don't know if I mentioned that. Huh? It's not ready yet. And we've also got a tall radiator here, so that's in both the bathrooms upstairs as well. Quite good and handy. Yeah. For winter. Yeah. Right, and then we'll show you the master bedroom, which is on the second floor. So quite nice. We've got this nice little hallway here. Nice little hallway here, and then in here we have the boiler room. Which we've got a few little bits of storage in here, but still quite a nice little tucked away boiler. Right, I'll take you into the master. So this is the master bedroom here. As you can see, it's actually very, very big. So this is a king size bed. It fits in king size bed comfortably along with two bedside drawers as well and you've got these skylights which are quite nice quite airy makes it makes the room look a lot bigger as well we've also got this little beauty area bit um where i do my makeup which is quite nice uh it's kind of hidden away tucked away so i can just get on and do my thing now i don't know um I think that they're no longer doing this little wall partition that's actually here. So if you look here, there's like a little wall partition, but I think they're getting rid of that now. So I think it's just going to be all open. So I'm quite grateful that we've, that we've got this little wall partition. Um, I think it's to do with more height um, and people not being able to, people being too tall for it. So the wardrobes we've had to get custom fitted. Um, along with also this bit as well, which will eventually have like a little cushion on top. Um, but they weren't included. They do sometimes they do incentives with them included, but yeah. with ours. They I didn't. think it was. I think it's if you're buying a show home where they've already been put in. I think they include it. Yeah. But not for obviously not for ours because we had no like furniture included. And then this is the ensuite bathroom. So quite a good bit of bathroom, good bit of space. Um, we've got the toilet, again we've got the vanity, the vanity um, drawers. So we've got a shower, we've also got the hand towel radiator. It's also got a skylight as well. One thing to point out, it doesn't, neither of the bathrooms have an extractor, but we've never really had an issue. We always open the window, we go for a shower and there's never been any issues yeah huh? blinds yes 
And sometimes they give the blinds a blinds curtain and blinds package included. But with ours it didn't, but we wanted um, mechanical blinds anyway. So these are like V-look blinds. I don't think they'd throw them in, um, but we got them fitted. No, we didn't. We fitted them ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying like we did it ourselves. Yeah, we, we, we fitted them ourselves. Yeah. And you kind of need them when the sun hits this side. It makes the this room you can't sleep very hot. If, yeah, you, you, well, it makes it really hot. And also, if in the morning, as soon as it's sunrise, you won't be able to sleep. It's really bright. Um, but these ones are solar powered, they're actually really good, so... <laughs> so this is a dehumidifier and what it does is it takes out all the bad air up there and filters in good air. We've not properly used it to its potential, we just kind of keep it on all the time and we just keep it on. Uh, we've never really put it on boost or anything like that, we never really needed to. Um, but it was included yeah, with the house. It was included, yeah, it was included with the house. Yeah, it's got a nice view out of here as well. On the street. What's their uh, service been like? Service has actually been really good. Um, they, as soon as we got the keys, we started to compile our stag list, and um, probably because of the fact that we weren't actually living in the house at the time, they managed to get a lot of stuff done within the first couple of months of us having the keys, which was actually quite good. Um, they were actually really accommodating as well whether there was any issues. Did we have any, I don't think we really had any issues, it was just anything that was on the snag list, wasn't it? Yeah. There was nothing mainly major. Mainly like cosmetic stuff, there was yeah, no there like... Yeah, nothing, nothing big at all. Um, and generally you, you, it, was, it was just, they were, they were really nice, they were all lovely. Um, at the, at the um, at Countryside Properties. So I'd definitely recommend them as a company. Um, and they didn't try to like get out of things as well which is sometimes what you hear with first build homes and generally looking at this this is by far the best like new build company that we've we've seen um, just in terms of how the houses are built and their style as well obviously that's a personal preference but yeah, yeah. all right well thanks for watching our uh, quick overview of the dunham from countryside if you have any questions about the house, let us know and uh, we'll be uh, try our best to answer them. Um, and yeah, see you next time. Bye.